আছেন এবিপি আনন্দ আপনাদের সঙ্গে আমি পাপিয়া ঘরে বসেই আইসিএস এর ক্লাস আজকের বিষয় ইংরেজি এবং তোমাদের যেটা পড়ানো হবে তোমরা জানো অলরেডি শেক্সপিয়ারের মার্চেন্ট অফ ভেনিস এবিপি আনন্দের লকডাউনে ক্লাসরুম তাহলে আমরা শুরু করছি এবং তোমরা প্রত্যেকেই জানো যে স্ক্রিনে আমাদের ফোন নাম্বার যাচ্ছে টু ফোর সিক্স জিরো জিরো থ্রি থ্রি টু ফোর সিক্স জিরো ফাইভ ফাইভ সেভেন টু এবং ফাইভ ফাইভ সেভেন থ্রি এই নাম্বারে ইউ ক্যান কল আস তো নাও উই আর গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস দ্য ফেমাস কমেডি মার্চেন্ট অফ ভেনিস রিটার্ন বাই উইলিয়াম শেক্সপিয়ার লেটস ইন্ট্রোডিউস কাউন্সিল ফর দ্য ইন্ডিয়ান স্কুল সার্টিফিকেট এক্সামিনার অ্যাফিলিয়ে teachers mrs suchishmita good afternoon good afternoon ma'am to ma'am uh, we are not supposed to discuss the intro drama right no we cannot uh, it's a huge play it's got five acts i welcome all class 10 students who will be starting with act 3 scene 2 when they go back to school so we are helping you and your teachers by starting the even the scene off with you it's a huge scene two major scenes which are very long in the play mm-hmm. are act 3 scene 2 and act 4 scene 1 okay. and uh, we are, cannot do the entire play because the entire play is of five acts mm. so up till act 3 scene 1 the students have already studied in class 9 okay so may we go on with the lesson yes. uh, just a brief recap for the class 10s and for the class 9s an introduction to the play of course it will be much more elaborate when you go to school এবং যারা রয়েছে না ম্যাম অন্য ভিউয়ার্স দে ক্যান অলসো গেট টু নো দ্য প্লে ইয়েস দে গেট টু নো দ্য প্লে ইয়েস ফ্রম অ্যাক্ট 1 টু অ্যাক্ট 3 সিন 1 উই हैव सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड प्रोग्रेस ऑफ टू मेन प्लॉट्स ऑफ द प्ले देयर आर अदर माइनर प्लॉट्स बट वी आर नॉट लुकिंग एट दोस द टू मेन प्लॉट्स द बॉन्ड स्टोरी एंड द कास्केट स्टोरी द मेन कैरेक्टर्स इन्वॉल्वड इन द बॉन्ड स्टोरी आर एंटोनियो द मर्चेंट ऑफ वेनिस ही इज अ रिच मर्चेंट बसानियो Antonio's dearest friend and Shylock who plays such an important role mm-hmm. in the play a rich Jew and a money money lender the other uh, plot is the casket story the characters associated with the story are Portia a rich beautiful and accomplished heiress now i purposely use these adjectives because later on you will probably need to use this when you are discussing her character in the quest the four mark question that you get in your questions nirisa her maid and friend not a maid as such as a lady in waiting you know rich women in those days would have an attendant a lady in waiting to help them to accompany them and very often Perfect. they would also mm-hmm. become friends two important men who vie for prosia's hand the princes of morocco and aragon they are a group of others who come before but they leave and we have actually morocco and aragon trying for her hand yes. and ultimately of course we have got bersanio no he's the common factor you've seen him earlier yes. uh-huh. bersanio a suitor of portia and also and we get the idea very very clearly the man whom she actually Loves. loves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So act 3 scene 2 mm. develops the casket story. Mm. We've come midway through the bond story and now the the scene the play keeps shifting between Venice where the bond story primarily takes place and the casket story which takes place in Belmont which is Portia's home. Okay. We already know that the princes of Morocco and Aragon attempted the choice of the caskets and were largely unsuccessful morocco you know as you, all of you will be knowing beyond class 10 that there are three caskets of gold silver and lead with inscriptions okay. written on them and the inscriptions are very cryptic inscriptions you've got to decipher mm. what is being said and the correct casket the actual casket or the winning casket has portia's portrait in it so that's how they would know who to whether they were right or wrong now morocco chose the gold casket while aragon chose the silver casket both were unsuccessful being Why princes not? then i have a question for yes. ma'am i shall tell you about that mm. they were both proud and overconfident yeah and love you mm. cannot be proud all right they chose by outward show appearance and reality are two very important themes of the play and thirdly they did not understand the real meaning of the inscription on the caskets uh we also note and again this is important for your 
uh, four mark question that you get and which tests your understanding of the play. Several qualities of Portia. She is okay. an obedient daughter. In Act 1, Scene 2, she tells her friend, if I live to be as old as Sibylla, I will die as chaste as Diana unless I be obtained by the manner of my father's will. She is not happy. Which girl is? Mm. You can also associate it with your young cousins who are on the brink of getting married. They are not very happy when their parents dictate terms about whom they should marry. But she again, even though she is unhappy about her father's decision, she decides to abide by it. She is tactful. When Morocco talks about his complexion, he's got a complex about his complexion. He's dark skinned. Remember, he's from Morocco, which is the top show. The, it's in the top part of Africa. She declares she's not solely led by her eyes. That is, by outward appearance. And then she's polite. When Aragon is very disappointed, you know, when he chooses the wrong casket, he learns that he is wrong. She very tactfully dismisses him. So these are very remarkable. Shakespeare's heroines are very, very outstanding women. And he's got a very vast variety of, uh, of heroines. You know, each one is special in her own way. Portia stands out for certain qualities. Some of them are here. Others you'll read later in the play. We go on to Act 3, Scene 2. It's set in Belmont, and I would ask all of you to take out your books, your texts, and follow. Portia's palace, a room. The characters present are Portia, Nerissa, Portia's mm. attendants, Bassanio, and Graciano. We will look at the lines 1 to 40, and then if you have time, we will progress. All right? Pros Portia has fallen in love with Bassanio. We've seen that mm. earlier. Bassanio very clearly has told Antonio he's fallen in love with her. But they have to abide by her father's will. All right, that he has to make the choice of the caskets. So she's expressing, in the first few lines of the scene, she's expressing her reluctance at allowing Bassanio to choose the casket. So what she, does okay. she say? Mm. She says, I pray you. Now remember Shakespeare in language. I request you, tarry, wait pause a day or two. Mm -hmm. If you remember with the other two princes, mm -hmm. it was more, more like good riddance, they've gone. All right? But mm -hmm. here she wants Bassanio to stay before you ha hazard, if you take the risk of choosing the caskets. And she explains why. She says, for choosing wrong, I lose your company. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you, this was the, these were the three conditions that any suitor had to make before he went to the choice of the caskets. One of them was, if they chose wrong, they had to leave the place immediately. So she says, I lose your company. Therefore, wait a while. Forbear a while, wait a while. And then she wants to tell him that she loves him. Up till now, she hasn't. All right. So she says, this something tells me. And then quickly she says, no, it's not love that I would not lose you. I don't lose you. And then she's afraid she said too much. So indirectly she says, and you know yourself, hate counsels not in such a quality. If I hated you, I wouldn't have told you to stay back. All right. So in an indirect way, she's already told him that she's fallen for him. Very, with very much. With your due permission, yes, may yes. I receive a call? Yes, sir. Uh, Siddhant Mistra from Lucknow. Siddhant. Ma'am, uh, ma I have a doubt. Um, yes, yes, Siddharth. Ma'am, I wanted to ask that a uh, court picker, uh, like uh, for the gold casket or the silver casket, hmm. uh, so do we have to write them in the Shakespearean language itself? Or can we it would be very the nice. There are three sayings. It's very easy to learn them up by heart. It would be very nice if you could quote them. All right? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Please continue. So then she says, she's telling him that, well, I love you. All right? And then she says, you know, she's, she doesn't know how to say it anymore. She can't say, I love you. All right? So she says, but lest you should not understand me well, in case you don't understand what I'm trying to convey to you, can you understand the frustration that's growing between her? And yet, a maiden has, and look at the language, a maiden has no tongue but thought. She can only think about it. She cannot mm. say it. Remember, you were supposed to be very maidenly in those days. You didn't come right out and say it, though some of his heroines are very different. All right? I would detain you, keep you here 
for some month or two before you venture, before you take the chance. Mm. I could teach you. And here is her obedience and she's a very principled woman. She said, I could teach you mm. how to choose right. But then I'm forsworn. I've given my word to my father. She says, so will I never be? I'll never be able to tell you. And in doing that, all right, I'll never be able to, you may miss me. You know, because I haven't told you the secret of the caskets. Mm. And then she says, if you do that, you'll make me wish a sin. And what is the sin? That I had been verse 1. I had not, you know, agreed to my father's uh, decision. Sorry, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Again, I interrupt. You. Yes, tell me. Uh, Sri Lahiri, Uttarpada. From Uttarpada, Sri Lahiri. Sri? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So ma'am, my question is, when we start answering the first question and extract, should we write the act and scene number? No, not necessary. Not necessary at all. Stay with us. All right. Bishru, curse your eyes, she says. They have overlooked me and divided me. One half of me is yours and the other half is also yours. You know, you've got the term nowadays, husbands call their wives the better halves. Mm. The idea was that uh, when two people in, were in love, their souls become one. So she says, your eyes have looked at me and they've divided me. One half is still mine, but the other half is yours. Mine, I, my own, I would say. But if mine, then yours. Because, you know, I am totally yours. And so, all yours. Oh, these naughty times. And look at the language. Naughty. Naughty. Today, yes, when, mm. when, when I say you're a naughty child. You know, it's a slightly a term of love. But she calls the times naughty. Naughty. In Shakespeare in language, naughty meant wicked. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, these naughty times which put barriers, bars, barriers between the owners and their rights. You own me because you love me. Just as she owns him because she loves him. And I'm rightfully yours. Mm. But the rules of the age... The rules of society, mm -hmm. all right. So, therefore, she says that they naturally tell her. So, then she says that, and so, though I'm yours, I'm not yours. Prove it so, she says. Let fortune, for a moment, you know, she's reckless. Mm -hmm. Let fortune go to hell for it, not I. And then she calms herself down. She says, I speak too long, but it is to Ease out, to stretch out the time. The more she talks, the more time she has with him. All right. So she says, to piece out the time, to extend it, eke it. All right. And to draw it out in length, to stay you, to keep you from election. Here, election means selection, selection yes. of the caskets. And Basan, you can imagine... Both the, the, uh, through the language, Shakespeare is explaining to us two states of mind. What is her state of mind? She doesn't want to lose him. So she's trying her best to keep him with her. Basani, on the other hand, uh, you know, sometimes you do say he's a spendthrift. He does, you know, he's spent all his money. He's borrowed money. He's put his friend Antonio into danger. Because well, you and I have mm. already mm. understood that Shylock has not given the money very happily. Mm. Yes. All right. Mm. But here you see, he's a person of principle also. He doesn't take advantage. He's understood that Portia loves him. Mm. So what does he say? Let me choose. For as I am, I live upon the rack. All right. So, and Portia now, she doesn't know how to control herself. So, you know, very often have you realized that when we feel something very deeply, we extend it and make a joke about it. Now, a rack, ma'am, was an instrument of torture. Ma'am, sorry, there is another problem. Okay. Aditya Jaiswal from Kolkata. Aditya, please, what's your question? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Ma'am, my question is that uh, what is written on the gold and silver casket? Please look at your text. You'll find your two answers, all right? Because I wouldn't be able to, uh, to quote them correctly. One is, who he who chooseth me will get what all the world desires, more or less. And the silver is, he chooseth me get, will get what he deserves. But the exact language, you'll have to look at your text, all right? 
uh, you must know that you have come into class 10. So, therefore, you must know uh, the quotations by heart. All right. So, as I said, I live upon the rack. Mm. That gives us a beautiful idea about his state of mind, the mm. kind of mental torture he is going through. He loves her and yet he cannot express his life, love with the confidence of knowing that she is his. Yes. All right. Mm. So, she says, so she turns it into a joke. As I said, things that we feel very intensely about. Mm. You will see that we turn that into a joke because it is easier for us to take it. She says, upon the rack Basanyu, then confess what treason is there mingled with your love. Then your love is not a pure love because if you are on the reason, because deceit, are you deceiving me? Okay. Another word for okay. treason okay. is hmm. deceit. So, is there some deceit mingle? Your love is not a pure love hmm. that you are comparing it to torture. Yes. And Basanyo says, none but the ugly treason of mistrust. I do not know what is going to happen. Mistrust it means doubt. I doubt what the outcome is, is going to be. All right. So, she says, which he says, which makes me fear the enjoying of my love. I cannot enjoy this love that I have. I cannot fully participate in this love that I have for you unless I am absolutely sure that I actually, you know, deserve this love. And how will you understand that? By making the correct choice of the Ma'am, a student is yes. waiting over the phone. Yes. Shonglap Maiti from Kolkata. Shonglap, what is your question? Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, good morning. Uh, my question was that uh, when we are um, about to write about the question which we are given, say, the qualities of um, qualities of Portia or description yes, of Portia, yes. mm -hmm. uh, can we write about the discrimination which she does with Morocco uh, upon her complexion? So, can we write that? Oh, what a lovely, what a lovely way of question. looking yes, at yes. it. Congratulations. <laughs> it requires a mature mind. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, there is this little bit of racism in the play. Yes, because Morocco is dark skin and mm -hmm. she does make a little nasty crack about it. If you can explain it, always remember when you are taking a stand, you must explain it with references to the text. And of course, you will be appreciated for out of the box thinking because everybody else will talk about pretty, intelligent and things like that. So, mm -hmm. why is Shakespeare doing that? He is actually reflecting the attitudes of his age. But love is blind mm -hmm. and lovers cannot see the pretty follies that themselves commit. Yes, that is Nerissa who says that mm -hmm. when she is on the point yes. of running away with Lorenzo and uh, yeah, it shows that it is actually lovers when they are lo in love, they are totally committed to their love. So, therefore, they do mm. commit, do a lot of foolish things, they say a lot of foolish things, <laughs> especially this generation being a very practical generation <laughs> might be laughing at half the things that are said in the place. But I expect when you do fall in love, you do say things like that, <laughs> is not it? So, mm. he says, this the ugly treason of mistrust which makes me fear the enjoying of my love. They may as well be amity. Amity is friendship. Amity and life between snow and fire. Just as snow and fire cannot live together. Similarly, treason and love. There can be no deceit in love. And again, Portia teases him. And you can see the gentle teasing which tells you about the depth of emotion between the two. So, Portia says, I, but I fear you speak upon the rack where men enforce say anything, when you are being tortured. Hmm. You know, you'll say whatever you say, okay, okay, get me out of this torture. So, I'll tell you what you want me to say. She said, you're on the rack, you said. So, that's why you're telling me all these things to please me and to get out of the situation. And Basanio says, promise me life and I'll speak the truth. For him, life is what here? For him, life is the acceptance of Portia, the surety of Portia's love. Ma'am, there is a good question is waiting for us. Yes, please. Shiva please. from Tamil Nadu. Okay. Shiva, what's your question? Hello, ma'am. 
Hello, I'm good afternoon. I'm happy to talk, talking to you, ma'am. I'm a teacher, so I want to ask you one question, yes. ma'am. Oh, good afternoon from mm -hmm. one teacher to another. Tell me. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> ma'am, uh, see, in this generation, children already, they are in the stage of more of loving other uh, children. So, how to attack these type of teens when it is taught in the class, ma'am? You know, ma'am, I don't know. <laughs> I've always found this generation to be remarkably mature. And if you bring out the literary qualities of your text, you'll mm. find that they participate in it. There's no sniggering because they understand. And you know, they are mm. much more mature than you and I. Well, I don't know how old you are. I'm a very old woman. We yeah, have much so only I'm asking this question. So, to you, no, no, no. I'm they, are, <laughs> they are, they, they do, do not uh, sort of, you yourself don't show any, you know, any kind of uh, unsurety or embarrassment. And you'll see they take it very well. Thank Why you, yeah. Shiva ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you for the question. <laughs> All right. So no. she says, he says, promise me love, life and I'll confess the truth. And she says, well, confess and I'll allow you to live. You see that the joke between the two is still continuing. And Basanio says, confess and love is the sum total of my confession. I want to confess that I love you. Oh, happy torment. This is a very enjoyable torment when my torturer teaches me the answers which will save me. So, he is on the rack. She is torturing him and she is telling him what to say. So, you are teaching me the answers which will deliver me from my situation. But lead me to my fortune and the caskets. You know, and now he can't take it any longer. Yeah. Even this little byplay between the two of them cannot mm. take his mind away from the caskets. So the curtain is drawn, probably the caskets were hidden behind the curtain. And Portia also gives up. She doesn't know what to do. Sorry, and, one yes, call, please. Yes. One call, please. Sneha Mukherjee from Kolkata. Sneha. Hello, ma'am. I'm Sneha Mukherjee from St. John's School. Good afternoon. What's your question, yeah. Sneha? Ma'am, my question is that in uh, in our exam, there are three sections. One from short stories, one from poems, and one from logic journalist. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, uh, so we can, uh, can we attend the, both the three questions from, uh, and one section? You mean to say whether you can mm -hmm. answer all three questions from one section? Yes, you can. Yeah, Ma'am. Yes, you can. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Man, please so, continue. let me to my fortune and the caskets. And Portia now gives up. All right. She's been trying up till now. The first portion has been what? She's been trying very hard to keep him from the selection of the caskets because otherwise, uh, you know, she, she's mm -hmm. afraid. Mm -hmm. you know, she's not very sure. At the same time, she cannot actually tell him about the secret of the caskets. So, her principles forbid her. And this principles we have seen earlier in the play also when mm -hmm. she's compared herself to Sibylla and to Diana. So, Portia says, away then, I am locked in one of them. The word locked is very important here. Yeah. You know, why locked? Her portrait is in the correct casket. Secondly, her future is also locked. All right, her fate is locked in one of the caskets. All right. Much as she wants Bisanio to choose the correct casket, she is not very sure. All right. So, she says, I am locked in one of them. If you do love me, you will find me out. And that leads us to a, uh, you know, a supposition. Why does she say, if you do love me? Because the love will make him make the right choice or oh, that is what she believes. That true love of makes you do the right things, not the mm. wrong things. Okay, All right. Yes. Whereas, true. perhaps Morocco and Aragon had come not to love Portia, but to take her as a trophy. She was a much sought after heiress. She was very beautiful and Bassanio only had earlier said that many young Jason's adventurers came to win her hand. So, probably for them, she was a prestige issue, but Bassanio truly loves her. All right. So, away then, I am locked in one of them. If you do love me, you will find me out. All what right. do you mean by locked, ma'am? Locked means her photograph 
or okay. her portrait in okay. those days okay. it would mm. be a portrait yes. Yes. was in one of the caskets mm. Mm. all right away then so mm. she is given up she cannot keep him any longer and she says you will find me up nirisla <coughs> and the rest <coughs> the others who were there stand all aloof stand away and she does something very important she says let music sound mm. while he makes his choice <coughs> in the earlier two um, choices that we have seen there was no music yes all right mm -hmm. is she setting a romantic atmosphere mm. music often reflects our innermost thoughts and feelings we'll come to that bit a little later ম্যাম মানে আমার এই সময় একটু বলতে ইচ্ছা করছে যেহেতু আপনি একটা রোমান্টিক অ্যাটমসফিয়ারের কথা বলছেন ইফ মিউজিক বি দ্য ফুড অফ লাভ প্লে অন সত্যি উইলিয়াম শেক্সপিয়ার দ্যাট ইজ ভেরি ট্রু সো উইলিয়াম শেক্সপিয়ার হিমসেলফ সেড দ্য সেম থিং এন্ড হিয়ার ইউ ক্যান সি মিউজিক ইজ দ্য ফুড অফ লাভ অ্যাজ শি সেজ লেট মিউজিক সাউন্ড এন্ড শি হ্যাজ আ পারপাস ফর ইট देयर इज अ ডিপার পারপাস व्हिच वी विल लुक एट व्हेन वी गो अ लिटिल अहेड लेट म्यूजिक साउंड व्हाइल ही डथ मेक हिज चॉइस remember there was no music for morocco there was mm. no music for aragon all right we'll find out why then if he loses he makes a swan like end many of you have come across the term swan song it comes from the belief that the swan be just before it dies it drowns it sings its sweetest song Mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. so that's why very often we use the word swan song the last performance of an actor we say it was his swan song all right okay. or the last mm -hmm. uh, you know text of a writer we call it his swan song so he makes a swan like end fading in music yes you know fading from where fading from her life all right that the comparison may stand more proper Hmm. that the comparison is more accurate she says and see the depth of her love for him already my eyes shall be the stream hmm. she will be crying so my eyes will be the stream and the watery death bed for him that he'll drown in the tears of my eyes he may win and then so there's hope there's still hope all right she's not negative hmm. Hmm? what is music then then music is like the flourish the triumphant sound when she says true subjects bow to a new crowned monarch exactly so oh. it will be triumphant he's won mm. his love mm. so there is a certain sense of triumph of achievement all right such is it and she gives another example as the dull set sound do you see the language of shakespeare how beautifully he chooses his words the sweet melodious sounds at the break of day at dawn that creep into the dreaming bridegroom's ear all right and call him to his marriage so either it will be as triumphant as the flourish of trumpets which greet a newly crowned monarch or it will be as sweet and as melodious not or it will be and as sweet and as welcoming as the sweet music that heralds a bridegroom to his wedding day with your due permission yes. ma'am our student is waiting yes, over the yes, phone yes, adrija dash from dhanbad adrija what's your question ha uh, good afternoon ma'am good, good afternoon, afternoon. But uh, ma'am, my question is that the four mark question of our paper, how did four answer and how many points have to be given? Ah, uh, see, the four mark question is actually we say the personal interpretation, personal response. Very often, it's called the me question because it asks you to evaluate, give a point of view. all right so you have to understand the question for example if you ask what do we see what do we notice about portia from the sea or oh, as ma'am very uh, lovely in a very lovely manner she said is portia discriminatory mm. then you'll have to give those points all right roughly it will be four points but that might not be the case but it will be your personal point of view you must remember that which is why i'll come to it later on where you have to study your text so very thoroughly 
Exactly, ma'am. Right? That is very important. Very important. Mm. May I go back to the text? Okay. So, that mm. creep into and what kind of a bridegroom? The dreaming bridegroom. He is dreaming about his wedding day and calls him to his marriage. And as she is saying that, remember Shakespeare's Compuous. plays mm. were meant to be acted. Today, so sorrows of sorrows, we are reading his plays. So, you have got to imagine the whole scene is taking place in front of your eyes. And Vasaginu starts walking towards the casket and she says, now he goes with no less presence. He is a handsome man. So, as he goes, he makes an impact, but much more love than young Alcides. Alcides is another name for Hercules. All right. And uh, you will remember where in the play where is, is it, there, Hercules? Where is a reference. Morocco compares himself to Hercules because when he had entered, he said, mm. Alcides and his page Lychus oh. play a game of dice. Yes. Hercules was considered to be the most strong person. And there is here, another call, yes. man. Uh, Shaptuk Mundun. Shaptuk? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. What's your question, Shaptuk? No, my question is that in uh, what way did Portia act as a romantic heroine in this scene? In the this scene. scene. Good yes. afternoon, Shaptuk. Romantic heroine, isn't the whole scene imbued with love? Yes. What more love do you require in this <laughs> scene? All right. She is hopelessly in love with Bassanio. She desperately tries to keep him from the choice of the casket, knowing that she has to abide by her father's will. She comes perilously close to the point of disobeying her father. So, all this shows her the, and the romantic language in which she talks about Bassanio. All that indicates that she is, you know, a romantic heroine. I hope you are answered. So, Alcides is a reference to Hercules, one of the deeds of Hercules, which is that he had saved the princess of Troy, Hesoin, from <coughs> the sea monster to which she had been offered as a tribute when the sea monster was destroying Troy. This is one of the deeds. He's had 12 deeds. One of the deeds. She compares him to Hercules. And let's see the comparison. Then young Alcides, when he did redeem, save the virgin tribute, the virginal young girl, Hesoin, mm. paid by howling Troy. Troy must have cried a lot. Yes, yes because the princess was being offered to the sea monster. Mm. I stand for the sacrifice. Very important thing. <coughs> she is the sacrificial lamb here because if he chooses incorrectly, her entire life is going to be destroyed. She will be sacrificed on the altar of marriage. So, I stand for sacrifice. The rest aloof, she, she ma responds, she talks, refers to her women. The ladies, remember, she is an heiress, so she will have a lot of women waiting on her. Mm. And they are the Dardanian wives, referring to the women of Troy. The illusion is continuing to the women of Troy, who with bleared visages, with tear-drained eyes, came to view the result of this exploit, the encounter. And she does not say, go Bassanio, she says, go Hercules. All right. Live thou, I live. Is he going to die? No. But not being able to choose the right casket would be equal to death. Live thou, I live. With much more dismay, she says, I view the fight than you make the fray. So, her fear, her trepidation is much greater than that of Bassanio because she loves him and she does not want to marry anybody else and yet she has to abide by her father's decision. All right, Her father's will, the will of a living fa a daughter has been restrained Sorry, by the there is another part. Yes. Venkatesh from Andhra Pradesh. Venkatesh. Oh, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. I have a question that uh, what, what about Antonio? He will, he will feel depressed about his ships or he will be happy with his Bosanio. Uh, would you repeat okay. it again? I have not understood. Antonio would be depressed Wait. about his ships or? He will feel uh, happy about the Bosanio's choice. 
uh, about he does not know about it as yet. All right, Basani has gone to Belmont. Remember, they did not have SMSs uh -huh. and WhatsApp in those days. All right, oh. so how would Basani inform him? It would take a long time for the message to go to Antonio. So, he is, we do not know, he is upset about his ships. What you can say is that he does not blame Basanio for it, okay. is not it? Whenever happens to uh, anything that happens to us, we blame others. He could have told Basanio, see, because of you, I am in this difficult situation. He does not say that. Okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Stay with us. So, with much more dismay, I hmm. view the fight, then you make us the fray. Fray, again, the fight. It is a fight for love. All right. There is music. So, she is in love with Basanio. There is music while Basanio commends. He reads the caskets. All mm. right. And as he is reading the caskets, the inscriptions on the three caskets, mm. there is a song played. And the song, now Shakespeare's uh, plays would have music. Remember, the male characters uh, were young men. The female characters were also very young boys whose vo voices mm. had not broken. And music formed a very important part of his plays. And they used to be sung by these young boys. Now, the audience would only know that these yes. were actually young boys mm. dressed as girls, as ladies. All right. But why is music being sounded? Is it because it is a romantic play? Or can we read a little more into the music? All right. Let us look at what he says. Tell me where is fancy bread, attraction bread, fancy is attraction. So, I look at you, I get attracted or is it through my eyes or in the head, hmm. all right? Is it in the heart or in the head, all right? How is it born? Hmm. How is it nourished? Reply, reply. It is engendered in the eyes, he says that this love, this attraction, it is when I see you, is not it? Then we get attracted to somebody. It is engendered in the eyes and as we keep looking at the person, that love for the person grows with gazing fed and then fancy dies in the cradle when it lies. And then at some times you notice love dies. How? Because then we do not want to look at that person any longer. So, everything is the eyes. All right. With In, your due permission, yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma uh, another ha, another call. Uh, Gossia Sikandar from Kolkata. <coughs> Gossia. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I want to ask that if a reference is given about the menu and a character sketch is being asked, mm -hmm. then we will write according to the whole play or according to the reference only. That uh, that will be instruct. You will be instructed in the question itself. The question will always, generally, the question refers to the lines quoted or the scene from which mm. the lines are taken. I hope you answered. So, it is engendered in the eyes with gazing fed and fancy dies in the cradle where it lies. So, let us all ring fancy's knell. Knell is death bell. I will begin it. Ding dong bell. Mm. Ding dong bell. Now, what is this, oh, this song telling us about? It is talk, talking about attraction. Yes. All right. And very often, we are, we are swayed by an attraction and then the attraction dies. All right. That person also, we might be very attracted by, have you noticed your generation, your heroes keep changing, your film heroes keep mm. changing. Today, you are attracted to hero A, tomorrow it is to hero B, the day after <laughs> hero C. Why? Because you are very charmed by his good looks, his six pack, eight pack, <laughs> his rippling muscles, the way he can dance and fight and then tomorrow you find somebody better. So, then your <laughs> eyes do not find that hero at attractive any longer. Is Portia sending a small message to Bassanio, mm. do not be swayed exactly. by your eyes. Mm. Remember when Morocco chose mm. the golden casket, mm. what was said? All that glitters is not gold. Ah, all the all right? is and it is exactly. one of the mm. sayings which has now come into our everyday speech. Do not be mistaken by outward show. Mm. What had uh, uh, Aragon been said? Don't. Aragon had also been told that you have to be wise both in judgment and in action. 
Mm. All right. So, our other can also host stroll very often gilded tombs have worms. Mm. All right. So, do not be uh, you know and silver has to be tested seven times it has to go through fire seven times mm -hmm. before you know that it is a pure silver. There is another common. Yes. Uh, from Jammu, uh, uh, what is the name? Bhumi. Yes. Bhumi from, from Jammu. Jammu. Okay. Please, yes. what is your question? My question is that if it comes in exam that that in which in which portrait push in which casket, yes, was in portrait, which, in, yeah. in which casket portrait of Portia will be there, hmm. so what will write? You do not know which class are you in. Obviously, child, we you know, I know, the readers know, because the gold and silver has been eliminated, all right. Okay. The audience yes. does not know. The, uh, everyone in the audience, yes. we cannot expect mm. them to have read the play or Shakespearean audiences also would not know. So, it is in the lead casket and that question would only come afterwards, is not it? Which casket does Basanio choose? So, as I was saying, let me go back to what we were saying that uh, it is bred uh, all this silver is also tried test seven times. So, the wisdom that we use mm. when we choose, we have got to think seven times before we choose. Yes. Yes. Speak so, low if you speak loud. Yes. So, this is it and this is the basic difference that we find between Aragon, uh, Morocco and Bassanio. Aragon is arrogant as his name <laughs> tells us, is not it? Yes. Morocco comes in. Now, which girl here would like any young man who has come to profess his love for him, her? telling her, oh, I have done this and I have done this and I have got an MBA and I have got an IIT degree, you will say he is showing off too much, all right. Why would he show off so much, yes, is not yes. it? Mm. So, we have had these two, whereas Bassanio has not said anything like that. He has only told her, I love you and I want to make <laughs> the choice because I want to be sure of my choice of the caskets. So, okay. there is probably a hint mm. in that song, yes. Okay. Then Ma'am, uh, why does Poshya say ever then, why locked ma'am, they are ah, uh, meant by I am locked in one of them. Her locked, that word locked is a very important word, her mm. portrait is in the right casket, mm. also her future is locked in that casket, mm. her destiny, her fate is locked in that particular casket and it will take the right person to unlock that destiny, uh, very much like Sleeping Beauty. Is not it? Sleeping Beauty also was waiting for the right prince to come, okay, is not it? So, Portia's fate is also sleeping, it is waiting, it is waiting for the right man and see Nerissa, uh, sorry, uh, had told her, her maid had told her, Jessica had told her that her father had been an intelligent man and old men at the moment of the deaths have strange inspirations. Mm. So, her father had created the lottery of the caskets with this inspiration in mind that the person who will choose the right pers uh, casket will be the person who Portia uh, loves and also will be the correct person for Portia and that is exactly mm. what happens, mm. is not it? Mm. Because Portia finds herself falling in love with Bassano. You and I know as the audience and a very mature audience today, we have had a fill of plays and movies, so we know what is going to happen next, is not it? That Shakespeare's audience was perhaps a simpler audience, did not have that many forms of entertainment. So, we know that Bassano is going to choose. There is another call. Mayur is from yes. Corner Talk. Mayur? Mayur? Yes, good afternoon. Ma'am, if we get a question that how Portia expressed that she secretly loves Bassanio, hmm. can we write while opening the casket, please not write my I have not understood the last part. How we can't hear properly. Please repeat. Sorry. If we have a question that how Portia secretly expresses her love on Bassanio, hmm. can we can we write? She plays a song while Bethany opening the casket. No, no, no. There are more points, dear. I have understood your question. Why she does not tell? Write that point? Of course. Of course. You of can. Course. You can. But you, you know, she does not love, that does not show her love for him. It shows that she indirectly gives him a, a kind of an indication that do not follow your eyes. Because what do we do? 
if something like gold, silver and lead are put in front of you, you will automatically go for the lead, I would. All right. So, that is what she is saying, do not be distracted by your fancy. All right. May we continue? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. Please continue. So, now Basanya picks up from there. Mm. Somehow, see the felicity of, the exp of their minds that they think along the same lines and he says, mm. so may outward shows mm. be least themselves. Outward mm. shows, mm. we show things outwardly. Huh? We all of us, do not we, we see something very glamorous, we look at a fantastic building, we say oh such wonderful people must be living there, look at the glamour of the building, we go to a store which is exciting, we look at a, a restaurant which is brilliant. So, outward shows, very often you enter and you say oh it is not as grand as what we thought it would be. The world is still deceived by ornament, it is always deceived by ornamentation all right and then he goes on to give the three examples i'll just do one example we don't have word for word time for more in law and it takes a very very good relevant uh, you know point here you know very often corrupt crim criminals are let free in our world why because they had a very good lawyer who pleaded the case elo eloquently who had a presence in court and the lawyer uh, and the criminal who has done a lot of things is let free. Mm. So, he says what plea so tainted and corrupt which is mm. wrong, mm. but it is presented in a gracious voice and it hides the show of evil. He goes on to give two more examples one from religion and one from beauty and courage. We will go on to that in another class perhaps in the future. Mm. So, let us look at the kind of questions that you get the yes. practice assignment which I would like you hmm. to see. Yes. Now, the extract taken is from the piece that we taught today, hmm. away then I am locked in one of them. Yes. If you do love me, you will find me out. Nerissa and the rest stand all aloof, let music sound while he doth make his choice. Remember to answer to the point and these marks are there you all have seen them, they are there in the question paper, mm. they have been there down the ages. Where are Porsche and Bassanio? Now, if you only write Belmont, you will not get the marks. A room in Porsche's palace, if you want to write the casket room, go ahead, yes. in mm. Porsche's palace in Belmont. Mm. Why are they here? Bassanio is going to make the choice of the caskets. Do you see what you have to write very, very clearly? before you can get your total marks. The whole exercise is how to answer and answer in complete sentences, never in phrases, never mm. in phrases. You must answer, remember it is an mm. English paper, so you must answer in complete sentences. Mm. What had been Porsche trying to do, what had Porsche been trying to do in the previous lines? Again three marks, mm. all right. She had been trying to keep Bassanio away from choosing the caskets, all right. She had used and since it is 3 marks you will have to say mm -hmm. she had used a number of arguments. Mm -hmm. She had expressed indirectly hinted at her love for him, all right. And the question that was asked by Papia ma'am, mm -hmm. why does Portia say away yes. then? Hmm. You know, it, it, it sort of her helplessness, all her arguments that she has used has not helped. And Bassanio is adamant that he will choose the casket. And what is meant by, and here I am coming back to uh, Papia ma'am, I am locked in one. Literally, it means her portrait is in one exactly. of the casket. Hmm. Metaphorically, also her fate is in one of the caskets. She asks for music to play as he makes his choice. What would music sound if he loses? And here you've got to talk about the swan-like end, all right? You've mm. got to talk about drowning in her tears. So all these very detailed questions. Which qualities of Portia? This should be four marks. I'm sorry, it's it's come as three. Of Portia is revealed in our interaction with Bassanio. Do you admire her? Why? Her qualities, her intense love. At the same time, her principled nature, her ability to, you know, 
to use a little bit of humor, hmm? her, her, her sense of uh, uh, discretion, all right. Do you admire her? And why do you admire her? This is entirely your point of view. What we are looking at is have you understood what we were trying to tell you? Have you understood the play as a totality? Have you thought of the play as you read it and as your teacher was presenting it to you? So, while doing Merchant of Venice, it is very important and I often do that and tell my students that buy those little stick-ons, all right. Then read the text thoroughly at least one scene each day. Now, the tens will ask, we have just come into act 3 scene 2. Well, you have got your act 1 to act 3 scene 1, that is quite a bit. So, just read the scene every night just before you switch off your bedside lamp. Just take the play and read it. You will see if you read it every day, very soon you will be able to quote from it as or, or you know remember all the details, you know it will come become second nature to you. Understand what each character is saying and why, all right. What are their motivations? Why is Shakespeare's hatred for Antonio, uh, sorry Shylock's hatred for Antonio? Why does not Portia like Morocco? Why does Aragon talk in such an arrogant manner, hmm. all right. So, you have got that. What does a character feel about another? Ar uh, Antonio is very condescending hmm. towards Shylock, hmm. he looks down on him. Shylock also hates him, lines which have become famous in our language is, if you prick us do we not bleed, all right. So, Shylock Sorry, is Sorry ma'am, now we have to wrap up our show. Yeah. Please, so, please. Just okay. Uh, just so, what does a character underline all the allusions? Remember, I've talked about Hercules. So, underline them. Try and understand. Try and list the traits of each character, and understand the events in sequence. If you do that, you've already hit a six. The ball is in your court. Yes. You will be able to do very well. All the best. And the moment she said, "I am a bachelor of finance," that act of her voltage. I mean, I am under eight questions. Hello, I wish I lovers ever run before the clock. Yes, <laughs> yes, that is true. And we chose a scene with romance in it. Thank you, so Thank, much, you so Thank you so Thank much, ma'am. Thank you so much. I think uh, that not only the students, but our viewers also enriched with your. Um, Thank you so much. That nice session. Thank you, thank, thank you, so much. Gihabondi Purua de Chono, Tomatumra Shabai, Jano, J. 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 Shuma, and A. Shuma, Tatama de J. J. Chapter Gulu Porano Hoto, Shegulu Shoroshuri, Bangla Shika classroom, Porano Hotse, Tumba Protekano, Kalkishumbar, Kalshakal Dosta, Nobu, Dadoshe Ditihash, Kal Dupur Tinte, Doshum, O Dadoshe, Hindi. Nobum Shreni, Aspects of the French Revolution. Adadus training, situating colonialism and imperialism in the 19th and 20th century. Tinte take a chatte, Abaro she classroom, Tomrajano Proteke, Vishay Hindi. Near Kandirman, fair fair. Harivang Shrai Bachanji. Our class 12, Kavit Das G. K. Pad. So, तुमना तुमना तो इडी थे को एक्टर तो बेजी गया चे ऑलरेडी तुमना जरा दोष्टा थे के एक्टर ऐगरो टर जोनो डेटी चले तादेत प्रश्न तो तुमर पाठी ही दिए चो किन्तु तीन ते थे के चाट्टे जरा प्रश्न पाठते चाव तारा किन्तु आज के शुंदे छोटा अब दिस शुमाए पावे व्हाट्सएप नंबर टा तुमरा जानो निजे दे नाम क्लास बिषय गुलो तो पाठा ते ही हाँ स्कूलेर नाम उपाठा ते हाँ 9748217201 ये टा मधे व्हाट्सएप नंबर ये व्हाट्सएप नंबर डे तुमरा पाठा ते पावे राज्य शिक्षा दफ्तरे व्हाट्सएप नंबर देखे ना चट कोडे आर ईमेल आईडी बीएस क्लासरूम 2020 एट डॉट कॉम Stay at home and don't violate lockdown rule, please. I'm Rafiri Ashwo, Nanno Khabunye, Chokhrekhoi Vipiyanata.